But with this 10,000 is more than that air space 2001 cubic. Right. What is that? My lunch money, nigga. Nigga, that's a perfect point. I won. This nigga's stupid. Get a witness. Get a witness. No one. What is that? That's a Thank you, handcraft. Nigga, pay me my money. Well, Frog, lose that 80 grand. Get one more witness. Rocky. That's a that? That's a handcraft. If this was a fucking Webster's dictionary or something, what the fuck would that be? Done, nigga. Pay me my money. You don't I was gonna throw that in the trash. I'm getting the call anyway. Keep on And the ghost. Hold up, where you going? Hello? You can go. Damn. Thermos. Stop. What's up? Hey, boy. Hey. Nigga, shout out to Thermos. I know who this is. What's up? Oh, that's nice. Oh, I just wanted to call you and thank you for the month, okay? Your, uh, the golf balls and all the stuff that you sent me. Oh, yeah, yeah no problem. I got the box. Yeah, no and problem. And the pants, I got the sweater and the slides. All the kids are saying I'm lit. And uh, my wife oh, fucking no. me again. Oh, wow. Yeah. Aren't you? Uh, uh, wow. wow. Are they finding where you at right now? Y'all niggas never got no money. Don't do that. Oh, no, no. I taught you better. Every, everything's fine, oh, guys. Right. Well, me and your aunt got your stuff. Your aunt let her clothes, too. Say something, baby. Oh, oh honey, I just love my stars. Oh, my God. Oh, colors, honey. I just love yeah, them. Oh, thank you. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. like the mom of Fresh Prince. Oh, I tell you, but, but, but the dark one, not that light. Okay, oh, honey. no. Hello? Yeah, I swear I ate her ass for eight hours. And I don't even eat ass, boy. That's good to know, man. When you get older, you get a little chocolate chip back there, a little head. I call it a little chocolate parmesan cheese. <laughs> <laughs> All right, now, boy. You see, you got your fashion show. Yeah. I'm going to come down there and you stay out of trouble. Okay. All right. All right. Just let okay. me know. Just let me know. All right. Just let Bye, Dennis. I love you, boy. Come on, baby. Let's have some Jamaican kids. Oh. Wow, this came out pretty fucking sick. I was so fucking nervous. This table is so sick. It's the oversized fucking skateboard. But I got a cool place to put all my coffee table books now. Shit. All the good ones. And the shoes, fuck, I can't believe y'all did that. <laughs> oh man. I got some, I got some sick ideas. These are, these are the first chairs that I designed or I, that I thought of when I first started coming up with furniture ideas years ago. I was looking at a Coke can and I was like, yo, what if, what if we fucking could swim in them? Just cut the top off and swim inside of them. And like, shit, I don't know. But they came out sick, and I made it. I made it big enough to where two people could sit in it on some like romantic shit. But you know, it is also big enough for just like obviously one person who's play games or watch a movie or whatever. I got some. I got some really. I got some sick ideas, and I'm happy I have people around me who trust them, who who don't judge and allow me to just move and be. This is crazy if I took this runway show to somewhere else or make it better or I don't know, it's probably cool. People probably like it. Take it to fucking, take it to Europe. Not the UK though, I'm fucking, I'm, I can't go there. 
for some absurd fucking reasons. Some really absurd fucking reasons. I should be able to go. I should be able to go there, so I'm not worried. I don't know what the fucking problem is, though. Touch me, somebody let me in. I've been going this since 2010. It gotta be the color of my skin, cause this nigga said that's doing more damage than my pen, man. Since old lines was offensive. I was young, I can't apologize for that shit. They took my fiction literature for little. I ain't no motherfucking criminal. What the fuck is the problem? I'm working at Gotham Smudges. Shit is clean as a whistle. And they just pull on the grudges. Let the kids see a show. That's what they waiting to see. It ain't no drum for my bus, bro. My edge is straight in me. So what the fuck is the problem? That little black boy made. He got a little bit of power. And these white niggas hate him. And I ain't talking shit again. He's stupid, I should've quit. They said I was a bad influence to who? The camouflage model with niggas like you? Or all the three niggas that know what it do? Cause I'm one of them. See, Ace is a king, I don't need your respect. So I made my own shoes, fuck that royalty check. I don't need your opinion, keep a mirror on home dick, so don't you talk to me. It might just be my ego. It might just be my ego.
Thank you. Thank you. Tell me a bit. Hey, thank you guys for uh, coming. Uh, yeah. Three things. Uh, I took my shirt off because it's hot as fuck on this stage and I'm sweating so wet right now. Um, two, I, uh, I really appreciate y'all coming, man. Niggas, uh, niggas, I don't want to sound like a broken record, but man, I feel so underappreciated with a lot of the shit that I do. And to know that there's people out there like y'all that actually even give the smallest fuck is so awesome. Not even with music, but like, you know, growing up as an inner city black kid, I wasn't the most masculine. You know, I wasn't into sports. I, I, I like paint and shit, you know? And growing up, liking paints and colors and patterns and all that shit wasn't cool. But luckily I had people around me who trusted me and didn't judge me. And motherfuckers like y'all who fuck with me to allow me to keep pushing that shit, you know? And I don't really know shit about fashion like that. I just know I like making clothes just like I like making music. But the difference between me and these niggas is that I make what I like no matter what the fuck none of these niggas tell me, you feel me? You know, I uh, have great memory and I'm, I'm one of the niggas who always remember what niggas say. And um, an older fellow of mine who worked at a store that I fucking hung out at when I was younger a lot, uh, I had this pink fucking awesome hoodie and these blue shorts. And I just walked in the store and this nigga made an example of me talking to his friend like, see, this kid right here wearing pink and shit, that's not a real man. That's not a real man. We're, we're, he's trying to be, see, a real man only wear black. A real man only does this. A real man only does that. And it's crazy that he's in the same position he was in eight years ago when he said that. And I took that pink shit to this fucking wrong way right here. With, uh, with that being said, I just hope that I inspire y'all niggas the same way that the fucking support y'all give me inspires myself. I really appreciate it, and um, I, uh, I took a leap. I decided to take a leap and shit. Um, y'all know I did collapse with Vans and shit and all this stuff, but I was, I, I just realized black people don't really own shit, so I said fuck. Fuck royalty checks, I'ma start my own shit, and if it fails, it fails, but I decided to start my own shoe company and shit. Let's see what the fuck happened. It's, uh, it's Goth Le Fleur in fucking French, and it means flower boy, and, um, uh, I like flowers, and that shit grows in the sun, and it's all this deep, weird shit, but I just thought it was cool, and, um, my friend, uh, could you come give me that? My friend, Mr. West, is gonna give me something. Uh, thank you, mister. I love you so much. Thanks for coming. You're a beautiful human. I'm trying to see who been fucking with me since, like, the beginning. Here, you. Yellow hat. <laughs> By the way, this kid is a fucking amazing artist. Like, the shit he paints is insane. Here, open this and just tell me what's in there. And you gave me a gift because you're a nice nigga. Wow. Wow, this waffle jacket? I actually ordered one under an alias and you didn't even know because I fuck with your shit. And Alabama Shakes Vinyl, I fuck with you. All right, shut the fuck up, y'all, and read the motherfucking envelope, nigga. No, nigga, open the envelope, nigga. I look like a nigga in these big ass jeans. Wait, wait, say it, say it louder. From golf to you, pick a shoe. Everybody that purchased a ticket get a free pair of shoes right over here.
Everybody that got a motherfucking ticket in Baltimore when the motherfucking end of the year come and I get my shit together, because these are the first samples, and we still trying to perfect the shoe. I'm sorry. But by like August, September, October, November, December, you get a shoe! You get a shoe! You get a shoe! You get a Make sure somebody grab my jacket and my motherfucking record bottle. Seacrest. 